Hey everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install EPG 22.04 LTS in Hyper-V. So, before wasting any time, let's get right into the tutorial. So first of all, we want to verify and check that our virtual machine platform and Hyper-V is enabled in our UEFI slash BIOS and also in our PC settings. To do that, hit Control Shift and Escape to open up with our useful task manager. Now, click on the performance tab. Then select CPU right here. Under the CPU, I'll look across to the virtualization. And, and if this is enabled, you're good to go. You don't need to follow the step that I will speak in this video. But for your computer, if this is disabled, what you need to do is to close your browser, then close your computer, then boot up your UEFI slash BIOS by using the keys that your manufacturer provides. Hot keys actually. Then what you need to do is to find for the FTPM or the virtualization tab. Then make sure you select and enable, then save and exit of your BIOS and continue the video. But for me, I've already said enable, so it's me enable, so I'll not be doing this tab again. So the second thing we need is to enable our Hyper-V and also our virtual machine platform in our PC settings. To do that, don't search for 10 Windows features on or off. Click on it. Open. Now, in this window, make sure to select Hyper-V, then scroll down, then make sure to also select Virtual Machine Platform, hit on OK, and we'll search for Rockhard Files. Then it will prompt you to reboot your computer, because if you click, skip this tab, it will not run Virtual Machine Platform and also Hyper-V properly. So, once you have any more requirements for the for to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS in Hyper-V, we just need to go to Ubuntu.com, then I'll click on Search, then I'll type in something like Download, or anything like that. Then I'll select download Ubuntu desktop. I'll also leave the direct link to ubuntu.com slash download dot slash desktop. Now on the section right here I'll be scrolling down. Then under here I'll be finding something called Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Now it will show the system requirement which is 2 gigahertz to all core processor or better or 4, 4 gig system memory or 25 gigs of free hard drive space. Then internet access is helpful and either a DVD or USB port, but we do not need this option because we install it in a virtual machine. Anyways, we will click on download to download the ISO. As you can see, the download started. But actually, for me, I've already downloaded it, which I've saved in my downloads personal ISO right here. So I'll not be downloading this. ISO of Ubuntu 22.04 LTS again. So what I will do now is simply open up our Hyper-V. Actually, it's open and minimized in my taskbar. Now, what you need to do is to select your desktop, your desktop name, which my name is desktop dash h a yada yada yada. Now, in this, now once you select that, simply click on New, then click on Virtual Machine. Then now you have to name your virtual machine, which will be name it Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. You can also name it whatever you want. Now, I'll be selecting the option to control the virtual machine in a different location. If you don't know what to do it, the default one is good for you, but for me, I want to store it in another location, custom location, actually. Now, I'll click on Browse, then I'll select my Documents folder, which have the Hyper-V, then I'll select the folder to store my Ubuntu 22.04 LTS virtual machine. Now, I'll click on Next. Now, on the Generation type, I'll be selecting Generation 1, but if you're installing the OS like Windows 11 or Windows 10, I recommend choosing Generation 2. But for this virtual machine, which will be Ubuntu, I'll be selecting Generation 1. Click on Next. Now, on the start of memory, I will be giving 2000 megabytes, which is close to 2 gigs, although it said it recommends that I need 4 gigs, but it's, it's not in an actual hardware. We don't need to use every heavy software, so stuff like that, so I'll be just giving near to 2 gigs. So, I'll we'll click on Next. Now, on the network adapter, I recommend click on Default Switch, which will automatically connect your main host Wi-Fi network from your computer to a virtual machine as a Ethernet, which Ubuntu also recommends. So I'll click on Next. Now on the hard disk, I'll be giving uh 75 gigabytes. Also, although it recommends 25, but it's for fun. And I have lots of storage space, so I'll be giving 75. Now, I'll click on Next. Now on the installation options, I'll be selecting Install an Operating System from a bootable CD or a DVD ROM. Then I'll select the option called Image ISO. Then I'll select my Ubuntu ISO that I've downloaded from Ubuntu.com. Now, 
now I'm happy with these options as you can see right here I'm happy with this so so I'll click on next now it will show you the summary of it so is I'm happy with this so I'll click on finish to start and creating our virtual machine so once you create it I'll be simply selecting it and we'll click on connect then I'll click on start to start the installation of Ubuntu 22.04 LTS so you can also click on the maximize button to maximize it which I'll be doing that now using the arrow crease and enter key I'll select try or install Ubuntu you will see uh, the old style and it will start booting up Ubuntu in our virtual machine so the install tab has been opened up and we got our jammy jellyfish background now on the language I'll be selecting English now on these two options here I'll be click on installing Ubuntu if you want to try it so I'm going to click on try Ubuntu but for me I want to install Ubuntu so I'll click on install Ubuntu now on the keyboard layer I'll be selecting the default which is English United States I'll click on continue now on the installation I'll be click on selecting normal installation now on the other options I'll be and checking the option called download updates for installing Ubuntu this might take slow down it slow down your installation because it's downloading installing uh, updates directly when you're installing Ubuntu I will be checking that but if you have time and you want to directly just get ready for the updates once in Ubuntu install I will recommend checking that but for me I don't have time and I, I don't want this video to be too long and I don't want to edit too long videos so anyways I'll click on normal installation then I'll click on continue now right in, on the installation type I'll be selecting erase this and install Ubuntu or the something up option is not available yet and I do not recommend doing that because in a virtual machine so I'll click on install now to install Ubuntu in our OS in our virtual machine let's click on continue and yeah it will start installing Ubuntu so at the end of the installation it will ask for things like uh, okay so where I use I will be selecting the default now right here it will be select it will be actually my name which I'll be typing in my name now on the password I'll be typing like one two three one two three four five six seven eight we also need to verify that by typing the same name are we checking that one two three four five six seven eight now you can also log in automatically to the Ubuntu if you want but for me I want to click on require my login will have my password to log in or uncheck the use active directory then I'll click on continue to install Ubuntu in my virtual machine it's a really really quick process because we are in a virtual machine so but I'll be also skipping the installation process it's been completed it will ask you to restart your computer which I'll be doing that click on restart now to all restart our virtual machine now you bet you will see a bunch of text before the installation and the restart now it will ask you to remove the installation medium which we will not need that so I'll just press enter because we're in the virtual machine now you might see some weird curses and weird text just don't worry about it just sit back and relax on your chair while you start initializing our upgrade for our installation of Ubuntu we also got our Ubuntu loading screen back with the Ubuntu cycle logo and the loading loading uh, loading wheel and also our actual Ubuntu logo and yeah, this is how you can simply install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS in a virtual machine using an app called Hyper-V, which is built in. It just needs to be enabled as an additional feature for your Windows 11 or Windows 10 operating system. Well, this method will work on Windows 10 or Windows 11 because the Hyper-V application is available for both Windows 10 and 11. 11. The cool thing about Linux is, is super duper privacy based and the Ubuntu 22.04 LTS helps and customize and helps and lets you customize a lot which is really really nice let's still click on all applications then I'll click on settings then I'll click on appearance then I'll select my dark mode but dark mode and select the theme color theme as blue because I do not really like the orange color then I'll click on I'll find for the taskbar settings. Then on here I'll be selecting bottom as my taskbar put or as my taskbar put, uh,
design was. I uh, taskbar position as bottom because I really like to use the bottom taskbar on Windows. And and I really love this. But for me, I want to move the home button to at the top because I really wanted to. And the also the software update that recommends that that a new update has been released so i'll be downloading that right now so now to download and install later so anyways that's all really about this relatively uh not easy easy if you install ubuntu past relatively easy and quick for launch tutorial thank you for watching my name is guys already from tech everything and basics actually and i'll see you all next time on and i'll see you all next time